All right, I got this FAF machine and uh, the motor went out. We turn it on, doesn't do anything but hum. You gotta hit it with a hammer. You get it to start. So I'm gonna be replacing this cl old clutch motor with a brand new servo motor. If you ever got a boot stuck down in your engine, you can pull it out with a coat hanger. Okay, first thing we gotta do is get everything disconnected. The foot control, uh, we gotta unhook the belt. I gotta disconnect the electrical. And I wanna make sure you're unplugged for that. And then uh, we'll get this piece down and out of here. And then we'll we'll rough mount the, the new one and see where it's gotta go. See if I gotta drill any holes, that kind of thing. Make sure the belt's gonna work. And then we'll hook, they'll hook the new one up. So, but first we'll get this one out of the way. Got the old motor off. Now we got to get the new motor unboxed. Okay, so here's what we got. We got the main motor. It came with uh, electric plug in and a switch, on off switch, fuse holder, uh, came with a spare fuse. This is a brake that hooks on that'll actually break the motor when you push the foot pedal up. It will slow the machine down. I got mounting hardware. These are some, uh, some rubber pieces that go between the mount and the table, keep from vibration. Uh, we got some cable management nails that'll go on the the cords that'll be able to nail it so you don't got cords hanging down and that's some bolts and washers a couple screws those are probably to put that up to the table yep yeah. so it comes with everything you need this is a cover for the drive wheel that the belt goes on so we'll put that on there looks like that's what these Gold screws are for holding that on. So who needs instructions, right? Let's get this thing mounted. I got the motor mounted. I had to make this belt just a little bit shorter. And now it fits. You should just be able to lift this motor up and set it down. And then you loosen this until you got enough belt tension. And then this one will tighten right down on top of it. And that's what will give your belt enough tension. Alright, last thing left to do is to get this motor control hooked up to my foot pedal. Last thing to do is plug it in. See if it works. I got a good light there, that's a good sign. This here is the uh, speed adjustment knob. It can slow it down all the way from 350 or zero. All the way up to 
does 3450 RPMs. But we'll leave it down here around 800 or so. Gotta get that belt tightened up. I'm gonna shorten that belt a little bit more. It's not quite short enough. Hey, you almost done? Almost done. Almost. If you know how to time. Alright, last thing to do is get this belt cover put on here. What? There you have it folks, a brand new servo motor on an old FAF sewing machine. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.